Are you a working mom who finds herself stressed out all the time and you're just looking for ways that you can reduce or manage that stress? I get it. My name is Morgan Mermuth and I am a stay-at-home mom of three boys ages four and under and I run my own business. Life can be pretty hectic and I'm here to just help encourage you and provide some simple little tweaks that you could do for your life to hopefully reduce that stress and make life a little bit easier. If you like what I'm sharing today, I want to invite you over to my Facebook group for moms. It's for stay-at-home moms who are working or looking to start working. And over there, I'm going to be providing lots of value, encouragement, tips, and tricks on just kind of life on the daily with kids. And also, we're going to have some live Q&A sessions so you can get your questions answered on how do I do this whole working mom life. So if that sounds like something that interests you, I will drop a link for my Facebook group below in the comments and in the description so that you can't miss it. All right, so without further ado, let's get into today's topic. So you're a working mom. Life as a mom is incredibly busy, and if we are trying to add a job on top of that, or maybe you're looking to start working as a stay-at-home mom because you just wanna help make ends meet, it's just a lot. <laughs> it can be quite stressful. Again, even just motherhood alone is very stressful. It's the blessed life. It's the best life, but it is sometimes a stressed life. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up right now. Okay. Anyway, so I would just want to share a couple of quick tips that have really helped reduce the stress in my life and also made me more productive at the same time. So I hope that you find these helpful. The first tip, and I think some moms are probably going to argue with me on this one, but it's honestly having some time for yourself. Like I can hear you right now. Some of you might be saying, uh, yeah, of course I agree with that, that that would be helpful, but it's like impossible. <laughs> and I get it again. I've got three very young kids. So sometimes that free time, it just doesn't come quite often enough or at all. <laughs> my husband and I have really been working on finding windows in the week that I can have a little bit of time, even just for me. But there are some ways that we can get creative here. Uh, you can wake up early before the kids wake up. I know sometimes that feels like, oh, even for me at times, I, I just definitely don't want to do it. And then other times I'm like, I can't wait to wake up early because it's just some time for myself. I can read a devotional. I can go for a walk. I could do whatever I want just for those few minutes before the kids wake up. But sometimes it's hard when you have a young baby and they're waking up in the night. So I get it. Waking up early isn't always feasible and I don't always do it. it if I'm getting up in the night with the kid, I'm probably not going to be waking up early the next morning. <laughs> I think you have to decide what's more important to you in that moment. Is it sleep or is it having the quiet time for yourself? But however you choose to get that quiet time, just incorporating some time for me time it really does help us refill our cup. And I think that a lot of moms struggle with feeling selfish. And I just wanna bring some attention to that for a second because it's not selfish to take care of yourself. It kind of reminds me of when you're on a plane and they're giving you instructions for in the event of like an accident or if the plane's going down, put your own oxygen mask on before you put someone else's on to help them. What's the reason for that? It's because you need to, if you're gonna be able to serve others on the plane, you need to make sure that you can stay alive in order to help others. I mean, you're no good if you can't breathe because you're gonna die. So it's kind of similar to that, but not quite on that extreme of a level. But basically, you know, you're just, you're taking care of yourself. You're refilling your cup so that you can turn around and pour yourself back out to your family. My mom raised me on that motto of you can't give out what you don't have. So if you are running on empty, you're really not going to be giving the best version of you to your family. If you can't find time for yourself when they're sleeping, then maybe you should consider hiring a babysitter or talking to someone that's very close to you, a trusted friend or family member, and just saying, hey, can I please just have a couple of hours? Would you help me with the kids so that I can do this? I think a lot of times in our minds, we start to make excuses for why we can't make this a priority. But if you can just get it in your head, like I've had to really drill into my own head, it's not selfish if you need to take care of yourself. It's actually helping you to be a better mom so that you can serve your family. Because listen, if you don't make time for yourself, 
you're gonna start running on a short wire and you're gonna start losing your cool with your kids. And I'm speaking from personal experience here. There are some days that I find myself yelling more and just not even caring. I'm more apathetic about things in life because simply just because I haven't had some time to recharge. You're doing your family a disservice when you don't take time to recharge and refill. So please let go of that excuse that it's selfish because you're actually doing better for your family if you can take care of yourself. You're gonna be all the better for it and you can show up all the more as a present mom and as a present wife when you've taken care of yourself and had some time for yourself. Okay, another quick tip I want to encourage you in, and this kind of goes right in with self-care, is get active physically. Being physically active is going to literally reduce stress in your life. It's going to reduce cortisol levels, which is that stress hormone in your body when you are exercising. And I'm not saying you have to like do these knockout drag out workouts every day. <gasps> the Lord knows I do not do that. <laughs> but even if you're just like working out for a few minutes or maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes, 45 minutes at tops. But if it's not something you're doing regularly, then just start small. Maybe it's just 10 minutes. And you could even double that me time as your workout time by waking up early and going for a walk. Getting physically active is definitely going to help you with stress reduction. You're also gonna feel better about yourself because you're taking care of yourself and you're doing something good for your body. We only get one body to live out this life in and to take care of our families with. So it's really important that we take care of our bodies so that we can optimize our performance for our families and just maximize life. Okay, well, I hope that you have found some value in this video. I know some of this has really helped me to be a better mom and to reduce my stress. If you found this helpful, I want to invite you again over to my Facebook community for working moms, or if you're a mom that's looking to start working from home, come on over there. We're gonna have lots of tips and tricks for how to do life as a mom and businesswoman, and I just can't wait to share more over there. So I hope that you'll click the link. I'm gonna drop it below in the description and in the top comment so that it's easy for you to find. But otherwise, I hope to see you over there. Bye for now.